So we've just made it to the uh, the gin tasting uh, ordeal, and we've just been welcomed with a fresh gin and tonic. Where are we? The Craft and Co. So stay tuned. and I'm part of Anther Gin with Dervler. I'm the co-distiller and we're at the Craft & Co. We've been sharing everything about our gin with an awesome group of people today. A lot of industry people. It's been great. We've had Negronis, we've had gin straight off the still. It's been a really lovely day as part of the Melbourne Food & Wine Festival. Our gin is a heavy, you know, juniper oily. So we're currently just getting a history of gin and, uh, and its origins and everything that this guy knows about gin. So, we've laid out our whole recipe. One of the reasons it takes so long to do gin recipe research is that you do a distillation, you distill a recipe you think is going to work, and then you wait at least two weeks before you can assess it. What is this one? Cassia. Cassia, so we're putting cassia in, into the mix. Into the mix. And this is a one-shot method, so there's no baskets, uh, everything just goes straight in the still, all gets cooked up and mixes around together. So we've just gone into the distiller and we've put some uh, ingredients into the uh, big vat that will then end up being the beautiful gin that we love to drink. So it was actually pretty cool. And you can see straight into the vat and see what's actually brewing. made myself my gin, I've got some bark, some peppercorns or some juniper I believe and I'm now taking a drink, I'm letting it simmer, I'm letting it uh, brew itself into a beautiful gin so I've pretty much made my own cocktail using raw ingredients, apparently that's what, what you do with gin. Right now we're just smashing some canapes, it's actually amazing canapes and then we're waiting for the next part of the tour. Straight 44%. Straight anther, yes. I know, only 44%. So this is a cherry? Cherry gin. So this one's a straight cherry gin. They make it once a year. Straight. Well, welcome to the distillery. This is a, a hybrid still. So it has the pot and a reflux. So what happens over here is that we've got all of those botanicals we saw now boiling away. And that steam is coming up into this sort of onion shape known as the alembic head. And then following that line all the way to the top, over to here, down to the bottom, and then in the bottom of this. And the liquid ethanol and the vapor ethanol have to interact and they bubble. And this bubbling of the liquid and the vapour is where we get the change in character. So this actually makes the alcohol softer. And as that vapour comes down through this condenser, it's turned into liquid completely and comes out here at 92% today. <laughs> so.
party with a drink, drink and just flat out. They were handing us gins. We went through the distillery, saw the whole process, we were making our 